iSight.com and today we're going to be walking through how to set up your Wi-Fi device onto your home Wi-Fi. Now once your device is set up on your home Wi-Fi, you'll be able to view and listen to live video from your camera from anywhere in the world. Now, this is what we're using today is our weather station. However, this will work for any device that runs off of the Pro iCam app. So let's go ahead and I'll get my cell phone and we'll get started. Okay, so the first Okay, so the first step in setting up our Wi-Fi camera is going to be to access the camera through your phone's Wi-Fi. This is a Samsung device, so we're going to go into the settings. And from the settings, we're going to go to our Wi-Fi. We're going to turn our Wi-Fi on. Now, we're going to look for, here it is right here, it came up already. We're looking for a Wi-Fi that corresponds with the QR code on your device. So here it is. We're going to tap there and we'll give it a minute to connect. Uh, on my device it always says internet may not be available. If it says that just dismiss. Now we're going to minimize this screen and we're, now we're going to go into our Pro iCam app. Now as you can see I have several other cameras for the store here but we're going to set up a new one. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus sign. That's for add a camera. It says new device. So you can put a name in here for whatever you'd like to call your camera. Now the easiest way to do this is to hit this button right here. Search LAN. When we hit that it brings up a camera image and it also corresponds with the number on our camera. So we're going to type this and we're going to hit OK. Now it says here I have the wrong password. I've set this device up before so I know the password that I put in was 1234. And now it says that our camera is online. But this is only the first step of what we're doing. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get our camera set up onto our home's Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings. And we're going to go to advanced configurations. Now from advanced configurations we're going to open our Wi-Fi configurations. Now what we do is we look for your home Wi-Fi in the SSID number. We're going to use the spy site guest site. So I will go ahead and I will put in our code for spy site. And in the interest of security, I'm going to slide off camera for one second here. Okay, and I've typed in our spy site guest code. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to connect to network spy site guest? It's going to ask you the same thing for your home camera and you just answer yes you're sure that you'd like to do that okay and now it says device reboot now the camera is rebooting itself so you have to give it, uh, it you know it varies from camera to camera sometimes two minutes sometimes up to ten minutes for the camera to reboot itself what I always do here is back out and I go back to my settings and I disconnect from the camera, I disconnect from my Wi-Fi. Well, okay, it already disconnected me from the camera's Wi-Fi, so that means the device is already rebooting itself, and it's put me back on my store's Wi-Fi. So from this point, we're going to enter back into our Pro iCam app. And now it tells us that the device we just set up is online. Tap the camera, and this is the view from my back office here. And you can see me waving my hand in front of the camera. Now something we always want to make sure of when we first set up a camera is that it's on 1080. 
this one is. A lot of times when you set them up, it's going to be in one of the uh, lower image qualities. I always put it on 1080. Now when we want to listen to our sound, we can turn this on and turn it back off. If we want to take still photos, that'll be saved to our phone while we're viewing live. Tap the camera button. If we want to take live video from our cell phones, that'll be saved from our phone, that'll be saved to our phones, excuse me. Tap this button right here. We can adjust the lighting quality. in these two areas. Now remember, when you adjust something while you're viewing it live, it also changes how it's recorded onto the SD card. And that is all there is to setting up your Wi-Fi camera. My name is Brent, and I'm from SpySite.com. If you like this video, if it was helpful to you, uh, we'd appreciate it if you would like it on YouTube and subscribe to our page. Thank you.